Hey there, it's Andrew here. Hope you're all doing well. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a modern and custom website in just 15 minutes. Custom websites can help you sell your product more effectively. It can also help you land your dream job by hosting your portfolio online, and it can also get you more clients for your service-based business. So let's get stuck straight into it and build a website together in just three simple steps. All you'll need is a computer and an internet connection. So here's my website, which I built from scratch using the method I'm about to show you. These days I do have a team on retainer to manage and maintain this site, but honestly you can do all of this yourself when starting out. As you can see, there are a lot of cool features you can easily implement without ever knowing how to code from video banners to scrolling parallax effects and other cool elements. A website is more important than ever whether you're looking to host your own work portfolio, represent your business, or sell things on the internet through a custom e-commerce website. Okay, so the first step is to get a URL domain and hosting. A domain is the name and URL of your website, and hosting is where all your website files are hosted on. You can easily get both the URL domain and hosting service by heading over to Bluehost, which is the hosting service I first used for my website, and they currently power over 2 million websites worldwide. As you can see, it's currently just $3.95 a month for hosting, down from $9 a month. Fortunately, I've got an even better deal for you. I've partnered with Bluehost to give my audience an exclusive offer. So thanks to Bluehost, you'll be able to get website hosting sorted for just $2.95 a month and a completely free URL domain name included. You can grab this offer if you follow the link down below in the description box. And once you've clicked on the link below in the description box and you're ready to continue following on this tutorial, let's click get started now. Next, go ahead and select the basic plan. This is more than enough to get started with. Then create a new domain address. This is where people will find your website on. Like I said, this is included for free in this package. Just make sure it's available. Today, I'm going with e-commerce Kickstarters and we're going to click next to see if it's available. And as you can see, the domain is indeed available. So what you're gonna do next is fill out all the account information and then create your account. So once you've registered, the next step is now to click create your account and then you're going to create your login details here. Now just simply follow the prompts and once you reach the end of the prompts, make sure that you select the Astra theme. This is extremely important because this is going to be the foundation to your custom WordPress website. So click use this theme. If you don't see the option to change your theme there, it's okay, don't fret. All you'll need to do is once you enter WordPress under appearance and themes, you'll be able to click add new theme here. And then from add new theme, you'll just need to search for Astra right here, A-S-T-R-A. And then just click install right here. Now the second step is to set up your CMS, which stands for content management system. We'll be using WordPress as our CMS and it comes pre-installed and ready to go with Bluehost. On your newly made account on the left hand side, click my sites. And what we're going to do is begin to set out the foundations for your new site. Click manage sites and then on the toolbar, click plugins. And from plugins, what we're going to do is turn off all of these plugins, except for the Bluehost plugin that I accidentally just turned off. The reason behind this is because we're going to be customizing our site with our own plugins. So now we're going to click log into WordPress. So welcome to your new home base. This is the behind the scenes of your new website. So the first thing we're going to do is customize your website through plugins. So go ahead and click on the left hand side plugins and add new. I'm going to give you a list of recommended plugins that I use to help protect your site, to customize your site and other useful resources. The first WordPress plugin that I recommend is Yoast SEO. And this is a great free plugin to help optimize your website to rank on search engines. The next is WooCommerce and this is a very important plugin if you plan to sell through your website. I've previously used WooCommerce to build a substantial e-commerce business. The next recommendation is WordFence and this one's also extremely important. This one is a security plugin that helps protect your site from intrusion. 
Next is WP Smush, and this is a simple plugin that allows you to optimize your images without losing quality. So therefore we have a faster website. No one wants a slow loading website. And finally, we have Updraft Plus, which is another free plugin, which will allow you to back up your WordPress system and files just to, you know, have peace of mind. Moving on to the final step and my favorite part, getting creative and building your website. So to start customizing your website, we'll need to download one of the most important plugins, which is called Elementor. So type that into the search bar and it should be the first result. This one here, click install now. Once it's installed, click activate. And then this is where the fun begins. Head on over to pages and then click add new. And then we're going to click edit with Elementor. You don't need to worry about this specific page right now. Click with edit with Elementor. And now we're met with a completely blank page for us to completely customize to our heart's content. So from here, you can feel free to literally drag and drop and start customizing your website as you please. But personally, I find it much easier if we just follow a template. So you can do this by going out back into plugins and then click add new. From add new, search for Envato elements. It'll be this one here. Then go ahead and click install now and then activate it. Okay, once it's activated, you'll see on the left hand side now that there's a new elements tab. Click onto that and then click free kits. Now you'll get access to a whole library of free template kits. And these are really beautiful designs that you can immediately just implement right into your website and start customizing it from there. So I've scrolled through the themes and I've settled on this one here, digital product. You can click the preview button to check out the entire theme here as you can see. It looks pretty energetic, it looks pretty straightforward and simple. And all you're gonna do is click install kit. And then you'll reach this page here with your template. As you can see at the top, it says attention, there are four requirements that need installing for this template kit to work. So if you get this message, just click install requirements and you'll install everything you'll need. In this case, I'm just going to use the home page and I don't need to install any additional requirements. So click import template. Boom, as you can see, it is now all imported and this is now our paintbrush and our canvas. So we're now free to basically customize anything that we want on screen here. And it's really simple to do. It's simply drag and drop and basically text edits. So one of the first things is you can see here that it's not exactly full width. So just click on this button here in the middle and click advanced. And from here, you can see that there's some padding here. We want to remove that padding. So just turn these into zeros and you can see they start to move. We also want to remove this header up here and we can do this by going back out and then removing the header there. So simply click the hamburger icon on the left and click exit to dashboard. But before you do that, make sure that everything is saved first. So click save draft, let it save, and then you're able to click exit to dashboard. So this dashboard controls just the page that we've been looking at. So to remove the header, you simply scroll down here and click disable primary header. You can also disable a few other things if you so wish. Then you're going to click save draft again. So designing your own website is a completely unique experience, but I wanna show you just how easy it is with Elementor. So in my case, I wanna change a few things and it's really simple to change just about anything on this page. As you can see, I'll change the header here and the title. So just like that, you can immediately change text and also resize everything within a few seconds without any coding. So in this case, let's also change the uh, text font. So just move on to style, then under style, under typography, you're able to change it to a whole range of different text fonts. Then you're also able to change the sizing, the weight, and also a few other options. So it's completely customizable to your liking and it just makes it so easy with this plugin.
As with the placement of everything on this page, you're able to change this pretty easily with spaces and also going into advanced and managing the margins and padding. So in this case, I want the title to be closer to the subtitle. So you're just able to right click and then click delete. And then let's change this image over here too. So all you're going to do is click this image, then edit it from here. In this case, it's a gallery. So what I'm gonna do is actually cancel both of these out. And then I'm going to click add to gallery and click the item that I uploaded. As with adding nifty effects into your page, you can simply do this by clicking on the item that you want the effect for, then going into advanced, then moving down to motion effects. And as you can see, you can add an entrance animation. So there's a whole load of animations you can add in here. And in this case, I'll add in a fade in left. Looks pretty good. Okay, so I of course won't make you sit through the entire customization of this page, but as you can see, the Elementor Builder with Bluehost is an intuitive way for beginners to quickly build a beautiful website. Elementor has a completely free plan, so really all you're paying for is the $2.65 each month for hosting, which is less than a cup of coffee to own your very own website. So I suggest jumping right into it and just experimenting with building your own page as it's a creative process and your website will always be unique to you and you only. Now, once you're ready to go live, just make sure that it's responsive on all devices. You can go down here and click responsive mode and then check it out on mobile and tablet. So as you can see, this still looks pretty nice on mobile. And the point here is you want to make sure it's a great experience on all sorts of devices and not just desktop. Now there's just one more crucial thing that we need to do before we set all of this live. So go ahead back to your dashboard. And if you remember earlier, I suggested to download the plugin called Yoast SEO. This is very important. We want to set this up before we go live. So once you've downloaded and installed Yoast SEO, click on the icon here. And then you're met with the Yoast SEO menu bar. Make sure that you go through all these key prompts and manage everything correctly. The main thing that we want to do here is ensure that the metadata looks about right. I'll show you what I mean. If we click Google preview, this is what it's going to look like currently if it ranks on a search engine. Doesn't make any sense whatsoever, right? So we want to enter something into the title the slug and the description that actually makes sense to our new page. So in this case, let's start with a slug. The slug is what you see after the URL. So in this case, it'd be ecommercekickstarters.com forward slash home. The SEO title, let's remove all of this. And I want the title to be something very simple. and then manage the meta description. This is again, what you see down here. So in this case, I'm just going to enter something that is descriptive about the homepage website. And then once you're done with that, click return to your page and then click update. So this looks good. And then I'm going to click publish to go live. So there we have it. It is literally that simple. To recap, what you're going to do is claim your discounted hosting and free domain name down in the description box below. Then you're going to set up WordPress on the Astra theme, download the plugins that I've recommended and use the free templates and drag and drop builder to create a beautiful custom website. Of course, building a website is a very big task in itself. So I haven't had the chance to cover everything in this video. So if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below, or if you have any ideas or suggestions for the next video, leave them down in the comments below. I read all of them. If this video has helped you build your own custom website, it'd be much appreciated if you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. It greatly helps out this channel, so I'm able to produce free content and tutorials for you. On this channel, we cover digital marketing, e-commerce, and everything online business. So if that interests you, make sure that you subscribe. I'll also leave useful videos on screen for you to binge until next week's video. And let's link up on Instagram at Andrew Ethan Zhang. And as always, thanks for watching and keep on hustling.